You're short. How much? Ah, damn it! I don't usually do the punching, but my bodyguard is four hours late. You're lucky this isn't bigger. If I had a nickel for every time I heard that. Ah, damn it. You sure you don't do the punching? I've had enough of your jokes. I'm gonna go ice my hand. How far away are we? An excellent question. We don't appear to be navigating anywhere right now. Shut up. It smells like a bass nectar concert. It's watermelon menthol. Fabio, out of the chair. You'll have to excuse Fabio. He vapes when he's nervous. I don't want to do this to you, but business is business. Let me ask you something. Have you ever been hot cocked? <laughs> what? Hot cocked. Well, I know what like cold cocked means, but hot cocked is not the same thing. What is cold cocked? Fabio, hit him. <laughs> Good. Fabio, grab the hot cocking stick. Fabio, the other hot cocking stick, not Danny DeVito. Yes, Fabio. You have a gun lighter? Fabio had it when he was a go-go dancer. I enjoy a cigarette before a hot cocking. People usually do that after. Yes, Fabio, I can see that. Show yourself. Christ, what's with all this smoke? Jesus Christ. Your move. It's the power of entertainment. It's, it's fake. It's fake. Don't worry. All day. Wait, you've been untied this entire time? Yeah, I was waiting for you. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yeah. He thinks it's called hot cocking. Well, isn't it called hot cocking? No! It's something totally different. What if it's not called hot cocking, what's it called? Cold cold cocking. Don't don't call it hot cocking. But but if it's if if it's called cold cocking, how come how come you're coming in hot? Uh. Uh, boss? Look, all I'm saying is hot cocked sounds better. Yeah, well, all I'm saying is you might want to look it up on Urban Dictionary first. What is cold cocked? Fabio, hit him. <laughs> well, Bows. Fabio, why? I just need to take a second with this eye, eye man. Welcome back to Are You Afraid Yet, where I'm happy to announce that tonight we're holding tryouts in your area. If you want to be on the show, all you have to do is apply online and you can win all this money. Oh, and make sure you sign that waiver releasing all your basic human rights to us. Hello, 
Nice to meet you. It's an honor, sir. I'm a huge fan of the show. I love this show. Um, okay. I can do this. So this is the place? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. What are we even doing here? Uh, corporate said, and I quote, we need more viewership. We need to find a way to get better ratings, uh, more genuine scares and whatnot. And so we're rejecting all our applicants now. He already applied online. You know, he already signed all the waivers. So we can do whatever we want to him. So he is our lucky contestant. <laughs> the power of entertainment. What? Huh? <laughs> what does that mean? I don't I just thought it sounded cool. <laughs> no. Okay, this is why you're behind the camera. This is why I'm in front of it. I'm sorry. No, please. shut up. Get the equipment. We have a solution. Jeff, get the camera. Okay, okay. We had some good scares so far tonight, but the best scare is yet to come. Tune in tomorrow for a terrifyingly good time. Welcome back to Are You Afraid Yet? And tonight is the big scare. Scary, huh? Yeah, this is uh, this is what our contestants going to be seeing. What's he doing? I don't know. Pull the hand of Kevry! Oh shit. Is that a sledgehammer? I'm not trying to get my head caved in for this third rate TV show. We need to get out of here and we need to go now. He's coming back. We need to find a place to hide. Now.
1716, a group of pirates disguised as a puppet show pillaged the Seven Seas, using the show as bait to lower victims from their homes. But the pirates soon met their fate. Crossing paths with a band of gypsies, the pirates quickly put on their shrade. Little did the pirates know, the gypsies had been warned of the pirate puppet show by a mysterious messenger. The messenger gave the gypsies cursed coins to be stolen, turning the pirates into actual puppets and their world into a strange place to be, forcing them into show business for eternity. But that's just the power of entertainment. Sense. What does he need a gold coin for? He's homeless. He has no bills to pay. Anyway, just come over in the morning, okay? Cursed! Cursed! Ah! I think we should talk. Well, you seem to be coping with this pretty well. Well, I have had time to reflect.
the power of entertainment. Yeah! Woo! There's nothing I can do! Oh, of course. Damn it! I can't just give up. There's nothing we can do, there's no keys. Well, can you hotwire it? No, can you? No, man. Damn it! This car's perfect too, it can fit all of us. There's gotta be something we can do. We can't just sit here. We have to get out of here. We gotta just go. We don't know what's out there. I know. We're sitting ducks. I know. I'm going. No! No, no don't go. No, no, you can't go. see what's out there. You can't do that. 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 You Shut up! Guys, please! Stop! Then we don't have a chance. Guys? What? Oh, oh, what? No! What the? Grab her! Grab her! Grab her! Grab her! Oh my god. What the hell, man? Where did he even go? Oh, the suspense is killing me. Power of entertainment. We need to leave now. Okay. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. All right, guys. On three, we're gonna leave out the right side. Oh, all, right. all right, man. All right. Let's do it. This is crazy. One, two, three. Go, go. Oh.
for a second, please. Yeah, I just sure. tried to be a good person to him. department. Hey girl. Hey, what's up? Where'd you get that? I mean, I found it. Shouldn't you put it back? Someone's probably looking for it. Um, I mean, they left it there, so they obviously don't want it. I guess. I mean, you want to take selfies? What? <laughs> I mean, it's for the power of entertainment. Have you heard of it? Yeah, but don't ever say that again. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that looks good. I'll take it. Right. You go. Pleasure right. doing business. You.
it's always right there. Just adjust that a little bit. Walking around the corner, take two, hopefully no one rudely yeah. inter... Inter... Oh wait, we're rolling, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I thought you were doing something. All right, so how do you play this game? All right, so you take the card, you write a fictional character or like a famous person on it, lick it, stick it to your head, and then we ask like vague questions and uh, we guess who's on your head. All right, well, we're not doing this with my cards, right? Of course we are, that's why you brought them, dude. But you don't want to mess these up, these are nice cards. What does it matter? They literally were 50 cents. Yo, you drive okay, a Beamer? Listen, man. You drive a Beamer and you're worried about your cards, bro. Who? Oh. It's the principle. Okay? What, what you principle? You have no principle. Oh! Excuse me. Dang, son! Alright guys, let's lick it and stick it. Okay, I want to go first. Okay. Fine. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, am I a man? Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm Dwayne the Rock Johnson. What? Like, how did you know that? Oh what the heck? Gosh. I want to go next. They're my cards. I want to go next. Me. All right. I mean, fine. fine. I want to go next. Yo, dude, that's fine. So you guys all right. go. All right. All right. All right. Am I a man? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mhm. Mm all right. Cool. Um, celebrity? No. 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 Okay. What about real or fake? Yeah, real. Fake. I mean, really? fake, fake. He's you're fake. fake. You're fake. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Um. Wait. Um, guys. You see that over there? What? Yo, like, I totally saw something. Guys, there's something out there. There's no. nothing over there. Dude, there's, Yo, there's totally about. something over there. There's Dude, nothing over up. there. Guys. I don't know. I think I see something. Yeah. See? What are you talking? Like, turn around. Think, look. Is that it? Yeah. It's okay. right there. I think. It, I think it might be a person. Uh, no way. Wait. Get out of here. Hello? Uh, guys. Uh, my flashlight died. Why? What? I oh, he's gone. Don't, don't, I got it. Wait. There's it's gone, guys. There. Yo. What? Where'd it go? Come on, everybody be quiet. Listen. You hear anything? No. no yeah. I don't hear anything. Boo. Ah! <laughs> Did you cover it? Right on. Do you just want me to hide in the woods, come out and say boo at like 11.30? Yeah. Yeah. Why? The power of entertainment, man. Whatever. All right, last one of the day. This guy submitted a DVD. Uh. I'll grab Reggie. Reggie! Yeah? Bring in the DVD player. Thanks, Reg.
My name is Seymour Mitchell, and this documentary is a proposal for the Historic Preservation Property Tax Exemption Program for my theater. Today, we're having our grand reopening, and business is looking, uh, looking good uh, for a population of 500. Unfortunately, uh, our city has a population estimated of about 10,000, so let's see how this goes. Now, in order to keep an old building like this in tip-top shape, we've hired our custodian extraordinaire, Dave. Uh, yeah, um, make sure to get it all, Dave. We don't want any customers slipping. Oh, and uh, use the signs when you're done, please. No piso mojado. I don't understand why he keeps yelling at me. How long is it going to be? The camera's about to die. Oh, this is just take a second. Um, I just want to wrap this up, but just listen. Uh, after all said and done, I know that this theater has its kinks, but what theater doesn't? And honestly, that's not what matters. What matters is how important this place is to the community and to the families. And I'll tell you, nothing beats watching a family walk out of that theater with smiles on their faces. And, and, and that... That is done 100% through the power of entertainment. Hey, Seymour, boss man, <laughs> there's a uh, throw up all over the hallway, uh, on the on the floor, everywhere, and uh, the bat in the theater ceiling is back again. So, just thought I'd <laughs> let you know. And yes, yeah. If you were to understand the magnitude of what we're talking about, you would know that the pen is mightier than the sword. Excuse me, didn't, didn't Chaucer say that the sword... Get out! The sword's mightier than the pen, mate! You can, you can slash someone with a sword, not a pen... Uh, alright, alright, alright. Time. Signs when you're done. No peace on Mojada! Four nine six in progress. They're uh, yeah, they're they're undressing. No.
What do you want, Lewis? No, we're, we're not hanging out. <sighs> what are you doing at my house, Lewis? I told you I didn't You don't want... understand. Eric's in trouble. Do you still hang out with that loser? You must be more desperate than I thought. I know you two don't get along, but you know how Eric didn't get his diploma? I think everybody knows that by now. Well, his uncle is a dean at the university, and he's getting him in. He can only go there if he makes the down payment, but long story short, he missed the deadline, so he has to pay his tuition in full. And how is this your problem? His parents only have so much saved up for him, and he doesn't really have that much on his own, so we made a lemonade stand to raise money. It's really hot outside. Are we almost Eight, done? Nine, one thousand. Wow, you were either making a killing or inflation is worse than I thought. What if we make a little bit more money than you need? Could I maybe have a little bit of the cut? For all my hard work, I would take Bay out to the movies. We get the top row, we recline those seats all the way down. At that point, it doesn't even matter what movie's playing. Now that's the future of entertainment, am I right or am I right? Oh look, a paying customer. Hey yo, give me all the money, fool. Oh look, a customer. Thanks, fool. Oh god. We just got robbed. What the hell? Why'd you give it up? He had a gun. Why didn't you do anything? A toy gun. He had a toy gun and you gave him all the money. We got robbed. We need to call the police. And report that you willingly gave away my college fund to a kid with a toy gun? Go right ahead. What are we gonna do? You are gonna get the money back. How? I don't even know where he's going. You know, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure that was Shane. He graduated like a year or two before us. Looks like you have your work cut out for you. I can't do this on Now go! Thanks for helping me out, dude. I don't think I had much of a choice. This is important. I have to right this wrong. Sounds like a personal problem. Okay, honestly, dude, you've been such a dick since the breakup. Like, I get it, it was hard, but it's time to move on. Just don't talk about shit you don't understand. And the way I see it, you need me a lot more than I need you. Back up before I tase your balls off. Don't hurt me, please. Laura, is that you? Peter, do you know this kid? I thought he was some creep or something. I get that a lot, actually. Uh, 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 sorry we hit you. I thought you were gone away with the rest of our graduating class in college or something. I'm still stuck in this small little town. This is the first day I've had off in a while. Wait, she has a taser. We could use that against Shane. You want to come with us? I mean, if you don't have anything going on... I mean, I could tag along. Perfect! Now Shane won't stand a chance. Okay, we're here. I don't know exactly where Shane is, but there's a pretty good chance he's here 527 miles from home. Wait, Shane Clausen? Yes? That guy walks my dog every day. He's my neighbor. What? You're surrounded now, Shane. Give it up. I ain't surrounded. Look at you. You wouldn't have been here without your friends around you. You are clinger. You're going to be like that for the rest of your life. You can't even make a damn cup of lemonade without having tasting like powder and water. You're right. I need to be more independent. I think I'll start with this. Son, that's my Bucks Burger Bar. Buy one, get one free. Coupon that expires 5-19-2017. Somebody left the paper trail at the crime scene. Give me my coupon back, son. Nobody makes a burger like Buck, all right? Yeah, take your money. I don't want nothing to do with you. None of your friends. All right, let's get out of here. And you know what, lunch. What are you guys doing back so soon? We got the money back. Yeah, now you can afford to go to the college you worked so hard to get into. Yikes, Peter. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. Especially after I stole your girlfriend. You're gonna regret <laughs> you ever said that. It's not worth fighting for, dude. She betrayed you. <sighs> Let's just go, please. Whatever. Lewis, I'm not done with you. This lemonade stand was so successful, we're gonna have a bake sale tomorrow. And I need you to get started. I have fun on this little outing. I'm free the rest of the summer if you want to hang out, as long as you promise to not almost kill me again. Uh, yeah, let's definitely hang out. You don't mind if I bring Lewis along, right? Of course. Yeah, let's get out of here. Lewis, let's blow this lemonade stand. Count me out. Fine, you know what, I don't need you. Get lost.
Hey, did I tell you that my neighbor got arrested yesterday? What? Who, Samantha? No, you didn't. What for? Yeah, I guess she just got mixed in with like a bad crowd. It's crazy. You just never really know someone, you know? Yeah, I know. Oh, hey, a penny. Wait, you're not actually considering picking that up, are you? Yeah, why not? Don't you remember what happened to me last summer? Oh my gosh, you're still hung up on that? Come on, it was just a couple of bad days. It wasn't the penny's fault. Oh really? That's what you think? Shall we reminisce? So last night I watched this movie where the entire time this guy is on trial for murder and he admits everyone that he has like a split personality disorder, right? But at the end, after he wins the trial, you find out he was faking it the entire time. Ooh, spoiler alert. Guess I won't be watching that movie anytime soon. It just made me think, you know? I mean, the power of entertainment like that is crazy sometimes. It just gets in my head. You never really know someone, I guess. You honestly just think way too much sometimes. But, looks like I have an hour to work, so we should just get going. Oh, hey Sam. Uh-huh. She's so great. Guess that Penny wasn't really that lucky after all. Oh please, that was just a coincidence. I hope Caleb asked me to meet his parents today. I know they'll love me. I'm lovable, right? Oh, an ant! Do ants have feelings? Hey! Hey, uh, wanna go for a walk? Sure! Yep, right. he loves me. He's totally going to ask me to meet his parents. So, Ella, I don't really think this is gonna work out. Yes, of course I would! Wait, hold on a second. What? Listen, it's, it's not me. It's, it's you. What? I'm, I'm glad we could talk this through. What are you talking about? We talked nothing through! Put it there. Talk to you later. What just happened? Wait, so he just broke up with you, shook your hand, and then left? Yes, it was the weirdest thing. Man, that sucks. I'm sorry. Yeah, these last few days have really sucked, but I'm sure it'll get better. You've got to be kidding me! You're way too paranoid. But it's heads down, too. That's supposed to be bad luck. You need to calm down, because it's bad for your health. Hold on. Dude, my mom just won like a thousand dollars in the lottery. You're kidding. No. It's the penny. What are you talking about? It's mocking me. Giving you good luck when you're supposed to get bad luck. Just like it gave me bad luck when I was supposed to get good luck. You're being way too crazy about all of this. You're probably right. Oh, 